Omnicurus, India's largest online CME platform, in collaboration with API. Bringing you the accredited latest digital CME on, cognizance of GERD AMP, infections. So with this kind of uh, background that you have two internists uh, chatting today on um, something uh, that is fairly common in our practice that is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, Karpati, do you see a lot of uh, GRD in your practice and uh, if so, I mean what are the common associations uh, that you find in your practice? Uh, well, uh, as you know that endocrinology is predominantly 50 percent is diabetes and then you have thyroid and the rest are uh, other ones which constitute maybe less than 10 percent. Now coming to diabetes per se, uh, you know type 2 diabetes is quite common and majority of them are obese also and they have found a lot of association between diabetes, obesity and GRD. And one of the reasons is type 2 diabetes is seen in obese patients and you know obesity you have uh, increased especially the abdominal circumference if it is more we, we say it as central obesity they are at high risk for developing uh, GERD and now uh, diabetes per se also can produce these symptoms because when you have acute hyperglycemia somebody's blood glucose is not under control they can have a gastric dilatation and that itself can produce a GERD and then you know uh, the patients with diabetes also are on medications which can actually come in the way of or which can worsen this condition like you have the beta blockers the calcium channel blockers you have clonidine where we use it and then complications of diabetes per se can also produce uh, GERD like gastroparesis is quite common it could be acute or it could be chronic so if suppose a patient has autonomic neuropathy so then actually patient may develop gastroparesis and that can actually lead to GRD also for more videos download the Omnicurus app